Welcome to the channel and today we'll be breaking down one of the best songs on Relapse, Stay Wide Awake. Stay Wide Awake, especially the second verse of the song, has one of Eminem's most impressive rhyme schemes to date. And before we get started, if you're a huge Eminem fan, remember to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications as we regularly publish great Eminem content. Stay Wide Awake is one of the many dark songs on Relapse, which has been considered to be one of the greatest horrorcore hip-hop albums of all time. And Eminem's lyrics are as dark as it gets on this one. And Eminem opens this one by stating, Come with me to the dark side of the Force, which is a Star Wars reference to when Darth Vader asked Luke Skywalker to join him at the dark side of the Force. And here Slim Shady is asking listeners to come over to the dark side. Eminem starts the first verse of the song with this. Fi Fi Fo Foam in that bar is a reference to the fairy tale of Jack and the Beanstalk. And the original is Fee Fi Fo Foam I Smell the Blood of an Englishman. But Slim Shady is in Jack the Ripper mode here and is in the mood for some pregnant sauce since placenta in that bar is the organ in the uterus that nourishes and maintains the fetus through the umbilical cord. Eminem selects the perfect night to carry out his evil deeds. Winter in December, when Central Park is quite lonely, which will ensure that he gets away with his crimes without witnesses, and once he spots his target, he makes a move. A movie about Ted Bundy will be releasing soon, and the name Brenda in that bar was also the name of one of Ted Bundy's victims named Brenda Carole Ball, that was 22 years old when she disappeared. Furthermore, this name is an indirect reference to Brenda from Tupac's song Brenda's Got a Baby. And remember that Slim Shady in that bar is in the mood for some pregnant sauce, which is a quite clever play on the name Brenda. Notice how Slim Shady uses his charms to get the girl to comply, similar to how Ted Bundy used his charisma and charms to lure young females. Eminem in the next bars then states, Sit down beside her like a spider, hide that girl you might have. This is a reference to the Countdown Kids Little Miss Moffat rhyme that contains Little Miss Moffat, she sat on a toffet, eating her cards in a way, along came a spider who sat down beside her. In the nursery rhyme, the spider frightened Miss Moffat away, and this is exactly what Slim Shady is about to do by revealing some details to Brenda. Of course, serial killers all have the kind of victims they target. Ted Bundy targeted young women, Jeffrey Dahmer targeted men and boys, especially those of ethnic backgrounds, and Brenda in this verse is just how Slim Shady likes them. And at this point in the verse, Slim Shady is saying some dark things that especially in today's society wouldn't sit well with the outrage brigade, like penetration with an umbrella and then opening it while it's inside, and Slim Shady explains how he's about to carry out such vicious crimes and hide in plain sight. I'm the kind of guy that's mild, but I might flip and get a little bit wilder. Most serial killers are charismatic and charming to people around them, but when their instincts kick in, they transform and become something that no one living around them ever suspect, which is why Eminem states that he gets a bit wilder when he flips. This is also a play on the popular serial killer named Christopher Bernard Wilder that went on a killing spree in the United States in the early 1984. He was from Australia and was known as the Beauty Queen Killer and had at least 8 victims. Like most serial killers, Slim Shady finds the use of guns to carry out his attacks boring and states no need for no gunpowder, that only takes all the fun out of murdering, I'd rather go bin bin. If you listen to Eminem on a regular, you should know by now that Slim Shady's favorite weapon is a chainsaw, and Vin Vin in that bar is Slim Shady playing on the sound effect of a chainsaw to imply that he'd rather use a chainsaw to carry out the act rather than a gun that he describes as no fun. In the chorus of the song, Slim Shady suggests that his songwriting skills are as good as that of Mozart, who's among the most enduring popular of classical composers. And Eminem starts the second verse by stating how he hides in plain sight. So dark and so cold, my friends don't know this other side of me. Serial killers have a talent for blending in and except for when they are caught, mostly, no one suspects a thing and no one will guess what they are truly capable of and Slim Shady is the same. 
And Slim builds on this by suggesting that this urge is something that no one can understand. But they can't see what I can see, there's a vacancy in my tummy. When a vacancy is put up for a house, the property owners are seeking new tenants, and these properties are available for anyone seeking to occupy them that meets the standard. Slim Shady uses this as a metaphor to describe how he always has a hunger for a particular standard of victims that no one understands but him. And in the next bars states, it's making me play hide and seek like Jason, I'm so hungry. Jason in that bar is the main character from the Friday the 13th movie series that's classified as a mass murderer with his signature machete. Slim Shady certainly needs psychological help on this one as according to him his victims are the ones seeking his attention, which shows one of the common characteristics among serial killers, narcissism, which is the excessive interest in or admiration of oneself or one's physical appearance. She's naked, see no privacy, but I can see she wants me. So patient, see I try to be, but she why does she taunt me? As you can see, Slim Shady believes that his victims are actually the ones seeking his attention, which is clearly in his head, and is just an excuse for him to carry out his gruesome murders. I'm not going to get into too much detail about the next bars, but you should know what's going on already after Slim Shady believes that she's interested in him and taunting him. And in this section of the verse, Slim Shady is describing his situation from his perspective and also the perspective of the victim that's in panic mode. Although to Slim Shady, this is all a game since he believes this victim is only playing hard to get. And while the victim is screaming, Slim Shady is finding this whole thing funny and even adds that. She's scraping me, she's fighting me, she's scratching like some dumb freak. This last bar could also be Slim Shady suggesting that trying to struggle in such situations are pointless. And remember, he's quite calculated with his attacks, so no one's coming to help, and struggling is dumb to him at this point. Slim Shady finally name drops someone he believes shares similarities with him. Escaping me, no dice to see, I might just be Ted Bundy. Remember Slim Shady, as stated earlier, also sweet talks his victims and is quite charismatic to be successful with his tactic to get Brenda. So he implies that him and Ted share these characteristics and no dice in that bar is a phrase that is used to refuse a request or indicate that there is no chance of success, which is an accurate description of the situation in that bar. And in this verse, Eminem pretty much rhymes the entire sentences, which just shows how underrated Relapse was at the time of its release. Eminem starts the final verse by referring to another popular character in a horror film series. Soon as you lay me down to sleep, it's your soul, I'm gonna try to take... Freddy Krueger is a character from a Nightmare on Elm Street film series who is a burned serial killer that uses a gloved hand with razors to kill his victims in their dreams, which leads to their death in the real world. Hence, to survive, better try to stay wide awake. Monsters are believed to mostly operate at night and Slim Shady also suggests that his victims have daylight as their only savior. This is similar to the case in many horror movies and monster movies with werewolves and vampires, where attacks are mostly carried out in the dark of the night. In the next section, Slim Shady describes how he's about to take on his next victim and changes tools this time from a knife to power tools as he stalks his next victim for hours. Slim Shady here has an appetite for destruction and is even found out while stalking in the basement because of his hunger. Must have just heard the sound of my stomach growling from down there. One of the common causes of stomach growls is hunger, and Slim Shady cannot wait for his next meal and it's time to attack. Shady surprises his victim and refers to a scene from Star Wars A New Hope that a Jawa popped out and stunned R2D2, and Eminem makes another Star Wars reference to suggest how he's taking out his victims. This implies strangulation since Jabba the Hutt was taken out by strangulation and like we discussed earlier, Slim Shady is calculated with his killings and makes sure the coast is clear before carrying out his attacks. So in this case, screaming for help is pointless since no one is around to help and Slim Shady finds this funny and dumb at the same time. Why scream when you know no one is coming to save you? And Eminem adds that he's nothing like Son of Sam in the next bars, which is a reference to David Berkowitz, a serial killer that carried out his attacks using firearms, which is something Slim Shady finds to take the fun out of it. Shady prefers his signature power tools like chainsaws, for instance, and even adds that he acts like a lumberjack when he's chopping up his victims. 
Lombo Jack is used to refer to a person, especially from North America, who fells trees and cuts them into logs, and this is how Slim Shady handles his victims in Stay Wide Awake, since guns ain't no fun to him. Stay Wide Awake is pretty much a horror film in the form of music, and only Slim Shady can execute such art in lyrical form for real. And that second verse is something to behold. The rhyme scheme was as insane as Slim Shady on this one, and if you'd like to support the channel, consider donating to our PayPal at the link in the description. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this. ET signing out.